I want to introduce you to Newton's theory of universal gravitation. So here is a beautiful picture of Isaac Newton. And he developed this theory uh, in uh, around 1666. He had it fully developed by then. Of course, it took uh, some time to come up with. But he didn't publish it until 1687 in the Principia. So what took so long? Well, he had some calculus issues that he needed to uh, work out before he felt comfortable publishing the actual theory. Uh, so what is Newton's theory of universal gravitation? Well, imagine you have a mass, call it uh, M1, and I have another mass, call that one M2, and we'll say that they're separated by a distance R. Then the mass, second mass, mass 2, exerts a force on mass 1 and it's an attractive force and it points along the line connecting the two masses and so I'll call that force F and then mass 1 exerts a force on mass 2 and that points again it's uh, attractive so it points towards M1 and that would be negative F so it's equal in magnitude opposite in direction these are action reaction forces and the magnitude of that force, that's g m1 m2 divided by r squared. So you know what m1, m2, and r are in this equation, but what's that big g? Well, that's a constant, and it's 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 newtons times meter squared per kilogram squared. How can you remember the units for this thing? So it's, uh, it's a good idea to probably get uh, used to this number. It comes up quite often uh, when you're talking about gravitation problems, but what about these crazy units? Well, think of it like this. If you solved this equation for G, then you would get G as F times R squared divided by M1 times M2. But then if you think about that, well, force, that has units of Newtons, and then r squared, that would be meters squared, and then both of these masses, well those are kilograms, so that'd be kilograms squared. So that's an easy way to remember the units for this uh, gravitational constant. And another thing to remember is that this force is always attractive. It always points along the line connecting the two masses.